All right, hey, what's going on there, folks? It is Earth Master. Uh, May 5th, hey, it's Cinco de Mayo, Cinco de Mayo, depending on how you pronounce it. 2018, 4.30 p.m. here, my time, Pacific time here in California, and still quite the earthquake swarm going on at uh, Kilauea Volcano there in Hawaii. Uh, we do have a live Kilauea uh, Volcano Webby Quarter up top right there uh, showing you guys live earthquakes as they happen. And a lot of times uh, uh, we see some big ones on there. Right now those ones coming in there look rather small, but they're definitely numerous. And uh, there really hasn't been any type of decline in the activity that's going on. I believe they've had eight eruptions now. Um, I will go over that here in just a second, but uh, definitely quite a bit of activity continuing with Mount Kilauea in, in the uh, island of Hawaii out there, state of Hawaii. Beautiful area, but definitely affecting a lot of people. Um, there's still quite a bit of activity going on. This here is the USGS map, one day magnitude, or one day magnitude 2.5 and above. Now these are just 2.5 and above. 209 earthquakes just today, okay? One day magnitude, quite a bit of activity. Um, and it's all pretty much, well, migrating a little bit I mean I've been watching it since it's began since it began uh, since they started having this uh, eruption and swarm uh, it was mostly confined over here to this region over here towards the east now we're getting a lot of activity over here to the west kind of like the southwest region and also offshore uh, so definitely uh, some interesting activity and developing Developing situations right now, I guess, as we as we look at stuff like this, it's definitely spreading out, so to speak. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the earthquakes. Most of them, all within the two to three range. There are some uh, larger ones there. Aside from that 6.9 that struck yesterday, a pretty powerful earthquake there in Hawaii. Quite a few people felt it. Uh, there's definitely been numerous fours and some fives in there as well. Uh, but most of this activity just today. Uh, within the two range, here's a 4.1. That's kind of a, a moderate quake, you know, nothing big, but uh, definitely stands out above the twos. Um, and um, yeah, we just keep on going down the list. There's a 4.6, another good one. A lot of, you know, like I say, a lot of activity, folks. We're going to see this um, build and uh, and uh, as long as there's continue, continuing to have these eruptions, so to speak, these cracks in the ground uh, with lava coming out, you know, eight, eight of them, that's a pretty, pretty significant uh, situation going on and unfolding in this region there. Taking a look at the depths of the earthquakes, that's the thing that kind of has me on guard. Um, for example, this 3.7 here just offshore at a depth of 10 kilometers okay so what's going on down there 10 kilometers below the surface are we still continuing to see uh, magma continue to come up uh, is there something bigger going on because I know this is not plate tectonic uh, earthquakes at work this is purely volcanic in nature um, there's no plate tectonics out here that's going to cause an earthquake so to speak um, but definitely all volcanic and um, other earthquakes, you know, you can see these shallow earthquakes right here, obviously surface type quakes um, from the um, uplift and whatnot of the uh, lava coming up. But these vary. I mean, they vary from 9 to 2 to 7 to 8. Um, and they, there's no really, there's one at 11 right there. There's just a, a lot of activity. I have a feeling this is going to be an extended time frame that we're going to be seeing. Uh, these eruptions happen. Uh, I don't see it stopping anytime soon as long as we're continuing to see these uh, deeper earthquakes coming up and migration of the earthquakes as well. Uh, like I say, it just seems to me like it's migrating a little bit further inland. Uh, the summit is up here, well, not summit, but the uh, crater of Mount Kilauea is in uh, this region right here. Let me zoom in a little bit closer here. And uh, within this area, uh, 6.9 that we had yesterday was located over here. 
uh, but it looks as though the migration of earthquakes and uh, lava uh, possibly coming up there is migrating a little bit to the west here, southwest region. What I do want to do is show you guys the last seven days, okay, this last seven days, and we're going to go with uh, 2.5 and above. And here you can see uh, just more of a wide-scale activity going on there with the uh, Kilauea volcano. 348 earthquakes, most of them occurring within the past couple days there, obviously. Uh, 348, that's a pretty significant number there. Uh, and it's spread out, like I said, it's spread out. It started, for the most part, over here towards the east. Uh, the East Rift, Rift region. region. <laughs> And uh, it's the color scale, right? The color scale, yellow indicates a little bit older earthquakes. Not old, but uh, more than like a day old. Red indicate uh, within, you know, just recent, within the past hour. And the orange ones kind of uh, within the past couple hours or so, within the past day. And the migration of them, you can see, we're still getting quite a few offshore, but they're kind of confining over here a little bit to the southwest and west area and also up here near uh, the I keep wanting to say summit but crater area you got the crater up here also a interesting development right here to the north west of there uh, just maybe about a mile from well yeah about a mile according to this scale maybe two miles from the crater itself uh, in a confined region there so definitely want to watch this area uh, I'm not for sure exact exactly if that's where they're having one of those fractures at uh, in the earth where lava is coming up uh, but definitely a, a cluster of uh, quakes within that area and um, like I say 300 and uh, 348 earthquakes that's quite a bit folks it's uh something else there's definitely uh, something else going on there a lot of people think uh, the island's gonna blow up you know I see some fear-mongering already on on YouTube uh, you know get the heck out of Hawaii it's gonna blow you know I don't think it's gonna blow there might be an explosive eruption of of the area especially with this increase in activity and uh, continued lava coming up it's possible we could see uh, an explosive uh, type of eruption instead of just lava coming out of cracks in the ground uh, but I don't think it's gonna blow the Hawaii off the map but it is something to pay attention to and to be alert and on guard I want to go seven days all magnitudes now hopefully my browser does not freeze up with this it shouldn't uh, but we'll take a look and see current set current selection includes more earthquakes than your device may able to may be able to display really Come on, I got a pretty good computer. It should be able to handle it. Let's see. Ba boom. Did my computer blow up? Are we still live? Okay, I think we're okay. 994 earthquakes. Let me back out just a tad bit. Okay, that 300 number seemed pretty minor now, right? Almost a thousand earthquakes in the last seven days. Now this is all magnitudes and I'm sure the USGS has not updated every single earthquake that has came in to the seismographs there. And a lot of times they have to go back and take a look at each of these individual earthquakes as they come through on the seismograph scale. A lot of them are put out uh, preliminary through the computer system but I guarantee you, there's probably a lot more than the thousand earthquakes that have taken place in this part of Hawaii at Kilauea Volcano. This right here, for example, is an earthquake coming in. Even these little smaller ones are uh, earthquakes. Maybe a little bit deeper, maybe a little bit further away from this station that I have pulled up here in Hawaii. But uh, they're def definitely earthquakes. A thousand earthquakes here. Now once again, you can see the 
color differences um, in the earthquakes itself. Yellow once again being a little bit older, orange being uh, more recent, and red being uh, within the last hour. There's a migration going on, right? Can you guys see it? Definitely a migration towards the west, northwest, towards the summit, or towards the crater, I should say, and also away from it down here. Uh, just a lot of activity, folks. There's a lot of stuff going on down there. A lot of magma, a lot of lava uh, underneath the ground that's uh, coming in. And I think we're going to see this continue for quite some time. And like I say, there's always possibility of an explosive eruption with all this increase in activity and large number of earthquakes and, and uh, the lava and stuff like that that's coming up. Definitely uh, want to be on guard for uh, anything in that area. I see a lot of uh, storm chasers. Got a lot of friends that are storm chasers flying over to Hawaii getting some video and stuff like that. I mean, that's just not... I mean, it's okay, right? You get to get some good video, but it kind of creates a clutter over there when people uh, are evacuating and having to deal with this themselves. So, I, I don't... I don't know. I don't think I would do something like that. This here is a webcam shot. A live panorama of Lower East Rift Zone camera from Lower East <laughs> Rift Zone. There we go. I'm just repeating myself like a bunch of times. You know, you can see the uh, clouds or vapor smoke off there in the distance from this webcam shot. Um, here's a webcam note. If you want to check out these webcams for yourself, you can go over here to this website I have pulled up. Uh, or you can type it into any uh, search browser, Hawaiian Volcap, uh, Volcano Observatory. Uh, I did want to show you guys the latest from the USGS uh, Volcano Hazards Program. Alert level still at warning and the color code still orange as of 5 5 21 54. That's, uh, well, yesterday, obviously, right? Actually, no, it's the 5th, today. <laughs> I'm a little bit behind. Like I say, once again, I got off at 7 o'clock in the morning after working a night shift, 12 hours, and, yeah, didn't get much sleep, but that's okay. So, active eruption of lava and gas continues along Kilauea Volcano's lower east rift zone within the uh, Lanali, Lanali Estates subdivision. Additional fi uh, fisher, fi how do you pronounce that? Fisher vents. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, producing spatter and small lava flows developed early this morning, and additional outbreaks in the area are likely, obviously, with all this uh, activity going on. Deflationary tilt at the summit of the volcano continues, and the lava lake level continues to drop. There is no active lava in the, I'm not going to pronounce that, in this area right here. Aftershocks from yesterday's M6.9 earthquake continue, and more should be expected, with larger aftershocks potentially producing rock falls and associated ash clouds above uh, these areas right here in the crater. They also provide a bunch of links and uh, some photos. Uh, you can also check out this website here, volcanoes.usgs.gov, and select the uh, Kilauea Volcano, and select status. There's also a lot of monitoring uh, stuff that you can do, as far as like uh, deformation uh, over the past, you know, years, couple years, if you're interested in checking that out. But uh, the activity continues. We are still monitoring it. And... Um, far as other earthquake activity goes, taking a look at Yellowstone uh, regional overview shows no signs of increased activity, no signs of lava, magma intrusion, nothing going on at Yellowstone folks. Pretty quiet, pretty mellow. Another day. As you can see the folks there uh, in the webcam when we have it pulled up there, just enjoying the uh, old faithful view out there. California, Nevada, yeah, a little bit of activity. Nothing big, nothing major to report. I haven't checked the real-time trimmer data recently. This here is a trim trimmer detection system along the Cascadia Subduction Zone on the West Coast. Uh, this detection system detects trimmers, right? 
not earthquakes, but tremors, low frequencies uh, being produced when two plates slowly slip uh, by each other or underneath each other. And uh, pretty quiet for the most part. We'll check the last 48 hours and uh, some activity uh, on a wide scale level, nothing confined to any area, but uh, typical. Uh, this looks normal. Nothing out of the uh, out of the uh, norm right there. Like I say, stretches all the way from Northern California through Oregon and Washington, and up into Vancouver Island. So, a little bit of activity over the last 48 hours. Anyway, folks, we're gonna jump back to the live stream uh, once again. Thanks for checking in, and uh, we'll continue to update on this channel. And uh, we're live streaming 24/7 right now um, main focus is the uh, volcano in Hawaii still producing quite a bit of activity a lot of earthquakes coming in at different depths and uh, migrating a little bit towards the north and west and uh, yeah we'll have to see what happens over the next couple days here as mother nature does her thing in Hawaii all right folks have a great day I will be on here off and on periodically checking in saying hi uh, make sure you subscribe while you're here and click the notification button that way you can be notified uh, whenever we post an update video or go live sometimes I'll do a second live stream when I'm out storm chasing uh, etc stuff like that so anyway folks we'll catch y'all a little bit later stay safe out there have an earthquake plan volcano plan I guess too and uh, we'll talk at you guys a little bit peace out